Hi dear students, welcome to Gita's classes. In this class, we are going to do some problems on vector differentiation. Uh, before going to do the problems, you should know the operator, del operator or differential operator. It is defined as del is equal to i into dou by dou x plus j into dou by dou y plus k into dou by dou z. This can be operated on a scalar point function phi of x, y, z. In this case, i into dou phi by dou x plus j into dou phi by dou y plus k into dou phi by dou z. This is called the gradient of the function phi of x, y, z is equal to c. Okay. Then if f bar is a vector point function, it is f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k. Then it can be applied on del dot f. It can be applied on the vector f as either dot product or cross product. Del dot f, if you take the dot product, then it is called uh, divergence of f. You have to take the dot product. And if you take the cross product, it is called the curl of F. Okay. So now let us do some problems. Find del of x squared y z. So del phi is defined as i into dou phi by dx. Sometimes they can ask like this or find the gradient of the function x squared y z also can be asked. So, del phi is equal to i into dou phi by dou x plus j into dou phi by dou y plus k into dou phi by dou z. Differentiating x squared y z. Always remember in the partial differentiation, if you are differentiating with respect to one variable, you have to treat all the other variables as constants. So, when you are uh, differentiating partially with respect to e x, it is dou phi by dou x, it is not 3, it is 2. 2x, x squared yz, so 2x yz and dou phi by dou y with respect to y means it is the remaining is x squared into z and dou phi by dou z is x squared y. So this is 2x yz i uh, plus x squared z into j plus x squared y into k. Similar problem, uh, x squared into z, so differentiate partially with respect to x, y and z. The, here there is no y, so dou phi by dou y will become 0. Next, find the unit vector normal to the surface x, uh, x y cube z squared is equal to 4 at the point minus 1, minus 1, 2. Always remember the normal to the surface gradient of phi, grade phi will give you the normal to the surface always. So the question can be find the normal to the surface or find the gradient or del of, okay. So even if it is given as find the normal to the surface or unit normal to the surface, normal to the surface is del phi, okay. Normal to the surface is del phi and unit normal means del phi by modulus of del phi, okay. The vector divided by modulus, it, it will give you the unit vector. So given phi is equal to x, y cube, z squared. So, dou phi by dou x, dou phi by dou y, dou phi by dou z. Differentiate partially with respect to x, with respect to y and with respect to z. And write uh, as i, j, k. So, del phi at the point. If the point is not given, we can stop here. Otherwise, now at the point minus 1, minus 1, 2. So, replace x by minus 1, y by minus 1 and z by 2. You will get this answer. And unit normal, this is our del phi. So unit vector normal to the surface is del phi by modulus of del phi. Modulus means square root of the uh, coefficients of i, j, k. You have to uh, square them and find out, find the sum. Okay. Next is find the directional derivative of phi is equal to x squared y, z plus 4x, z squared at the point 1 comma minus 1 comma minus 2 comma minus 1 in the direction of 2i minus j minus 2k and hence find the maximum directional derivative. Always remember del phi dot a cap will give you the directional derivative of phi uh, along the direction of a, okay, of the vector a. So here phi is given as this function. So del phi you can find out. 
del phi as usual as we have done in the previous problem we can find out del phi and at the point 1 minus 2 minus 1 so wherever you have x replace it by 1 and for y you substitute minus 2 for z you replace it by minus 1 so we'll get del phi this is our del phi okay and we have to find the directional derivative in the direction of a bar is equal to a bar vector is given so you have to find out a cap a cap is a bar by modulus of a bar so this is our a cap therefore the required directional derivative is del phi dot a bar so take the dot product with them 37 by 3 okay if you take the dot product always remember i into i so 8 into 2 and the corresponding coefficients you have to multiply so j j dot j is 1 and minus 1 and minus 1 so plus 1 here minus 10 and minus 2 it will become plus 20 divided by 3 okay and the directional derivative is always maximum in the direction of del phi and the magnitude of this maximum is given by modulus of del phi so we know that uh, the del phi the vector del phi is 8i minus j minus 10k this is our del phi okay so 8 squared plus minus 1 the whole squared plus minus 10 the whole squared that is our modulus of del phi so root of 165 that's the answer and find the directional derivative of similar problem only only thing is in the previous question they have given the direction directly that is i j k a bar is equal to something into i plus something into j plus something into k here phi is equal to given at the point 1 comma 2 comma 3 here in the uh, place of the uh, direction they have given in the direction of the line pq where q is equal so p is given q is given and also calculate the magnitude of the maximum directional derivative suppose if you have one this is our p and this is our q then if you want to find out pq you have to find out this is our p o p this is our o p this vector is OP, here this vector is OQ. So if you want to find out PQ, then it is uh, the vector PQ is given by OQ minus OP. Okay, if you want to find out this distance, OP and OQ are given, then you can find out PQ as OQ minus OP, okay, using that vector uh, properties. So this is OP means, this is P is the point 1 comma 2 comma 3. Therefore, OP is I plus 2J plus 3K. Q is the point 5 comma 0 comma 4. So OQ is 5I plus 0J plus 4K. So PQ is OQ minus OP. Now this is our A bar. A bar is equal to 4I minus 2J plus K. Okay, In this direction only we have to find out. So A bar is this one. Therefore you, A cap is the unit vector means. 4i minus 2j plus k divided by modulus of this. So 21 and also given phi, del phi you can find out. So the directional derivative is given by a dot del phi. Okay. And the magnitude is, magnitude of the maximum directional derivative is given by modulus of del phi. Okay. Again substitute that. Then find the angle between the surfaces. So this is an important problem. Almost all these problems are university questions, repeated questions only. So find the angle between the surfaces. Two surfaces are, are given. So let us take the first one as phi1 and the second surface as phi2. Okay. So del phi1, if theta is the angle between the surfaces, then del phi1, uh, the cos theta is given by del phi1 dot del phi2 divided by modulus of del phi1 and del phi2. So you know if phi is given, you know how to find out del phi. In the similar uh, manner, you have to find out del phi1 and del phi2. Take the dot product and divided by modulus of del phi 1 into modulus of del phi 2. Okay? That will give you the angle between them. And find the divergence and curl f uh, where f bar is equal to. So I told you in the beginning I told you if, if f bar is equal to f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k then we can apply uh, dot product or cross product here. Uh, f bar should be a vector no so here that's why it is given grade of so grade of phi will give you uh, give you the vector point function so this is our f bar okay so f bar is equal to grade phi f bar is i into j into k into so divergence of f means del dot f okay and curl f means cross product i j k always curl f is 
i j k determinant of i j k in the first row do by do x do by do y and do by do z in the third row and corresponding values you uh, write in the third row okay and the simplification will by simplifying we'll get uh, zero curl of therefore curl of is equal to zero for the particular problem next find the these kind of questions also they are repeated questions find the constants a b c uh, sometimes solenoidal vector or sometimes irrotational vectors will be given you will be asked to find out the constants one such question you can expect for two marks three marks also so find the constants a b and c if the vector f bar is equal to so given that it is it is irrotational given that f bar is irrotational irrotational means what what is the definition curl of is equal to zero if divergence of f is equal to zero it is called solenoidal and if curl of is equal to zero then it is irrotational okay these are the definitions so detailed uh, uh, details of these uh, classes you can have in m2 in the previous uh, m2 lessons it is available if you want you can go through them okay so here it is irrotational is given so curl of is equal to zero so ijk uh, do by do x do by do y do by do z and the corresponding values i have written uh, just to, by simplification you will be getting i into c minus 3 minus j into 2 minus a plus k into b minus 3 is equal to 0. Here 0 vector means what? In the right hand side you have 0 vector. That means 0 i plus 0 j plus 0 k. Okay. Therefore uh, equating the corresponding value c minus 3 is equal to 0, uh, 2 minus a is equal to 0 and b is minus 3 is equal to 0. Therefore, by sub equating them to 0, we will get A is equal to 2, B is equal to 3 and C is also equal to 3. Okay? We will do more problems in the next class in the same topics. So, please uh, give a like to this class and share it with your friends so that it will be useful for them. Thank you so much for listening.